All right, Shalom. First and foremost, I want to give all praise to Yahweh, Ba'ashem, to Yahweh Shai, Ba'ashem, Rakakadash. Double honor to the elders, apostles, great mills, one who told me the truth and rule well. Peace, blessings, and salutations that I came out there scattered broad to the four corners of the earth that serving the truth and not truth sincerity. To you, I say Shalom. Wong. It's your brother Nabala coming to you with another video in the spirit. And uh, this video is going to be about um, basically how you got basically scoffers out here that's trying to uh, scoff against the truth, you know, and, and scoff against uh, the men of the Lord, the prophets, you know. Mm -hmm. And they don't understand that, uh, they don't understand who they're messing with, you know. And it's not that you're um, you're scoffing against us. You're, uh, you're ultimately just scoffing against Yahweh Ba'ashem, Yahweh Shai, okay. And they think with them doing that, that they're going to uh, stop this word from being pushed out or I think that they're, they're uh coming against the truth, but uh like the scripture says right here, uh second Corinthians uh thirteen and eight, it says, For we can do nothing against the truth, but for the truth. Huh? So there's nothing that you can do against this truth that's gonna that's gonna stop it. You know, anything that happens is actually for the truth. So, you know, you got scoffers out here that's trying to um basically uh distract, you know, other Jake from being able to, to uh to get this truth, but you're you're not because what you, what these scoffers out here basically, um, saying don't believe uh, don't believe uh this doctrine or don't believe the, uh, the Hebrew Israelites or anything any wild, any foolishness that they say, they don't understand that. First off, it's on this only for the elect anyway. It's not for all of Jake, so only the elect is going to be able to obtain this. So with them doing that, you know. Uh, even with them doing that, a leg member may come, come past them seeing doing that. And now they start researching and the Lord don't woke them up that way. Or just, uh, everyday regular Jake, you know, not he, now nah, he didn't seen, uh, what you were scoffing against. And now nah, he didn't did his research and, and to find out about this truth. Okay. But only the elect is going to, is going to actually take heed. Okay. And for, for you, Jake, who, who do end up doing your search and find out about the truth, but you don't take heed. You just mark yourself. So e either way, you're not. You're what what these scoffers are doing. They're they're still helping the truth. They're still helping the cause because either you're helping us wake up the elect, or you're, you're condemning Jake. So either or, it's, it it all plays its part. Okay, so there's, so there's nothing you can do against the truth, like the scriptures say. Uh, and. It's in the scriptures. It's talk about the um, these scoffers. There it is, right here. This is um, this is Second Peter, three and three. It says, knowing this first, that that there shall come in the last days scoffers walking after their own lust, and saying, where is the promise of his coming? But since the fathers fell asleep and all things continue as they were from the beginning of of the creation, con. So they think that the uh that ultimately they think the Lord is like concerning his promise. You know, they hear us out there on the on the highways and byways, you know, probably saying the downfall of America, saying how people are gonna um people are gonna be destroyed, people are gonna die. We're talking about how the um how the famine is coming, how the how the MOTB and all of that is coming. They don't think, they don't think that those things are going to happen. So they, so, so they think that, they think that they're, they think that they're doing something, you know, just because it hasn't happened yet. They think that the Lord is slack concerning his promise, but no, uh, the Lord moves on his time. Uh, and I'm going to jump down to this verse, uh, verse eight. It says, but beloved, be not ignorant of this one thing. That one day is with the Lord as a thousand years, and a thousand years as one day. Con. So the Lord has a point of time for things to happen, and 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 our time doesn't match up to the Heavenly Father's time. And and the Heavenly Father's eye, this only been two days to Him. But but if you're not in the Spirit, which which these people are are not. You know they're not spiritual whatsoever. You know they they can't understand that 
the, that the Lord is actually speeding time up. So things are so prophecy is actually moving a lot faster. Prophecy is 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 coming. A lot of things that we have spoke about are coming. So whether so whether you want to believe it or not, this is not going to stop the fact that it's going to happen. And all you're doing is just furthering and condemning yourself. Unless it's up to Yahweh Hashem Yahshua to wake you up. Um, I'm going to go here. This is uh, Ezekiel 2. I'm going to start at verse 3. It says, And he said unto me, Son of men, I send thee to the children of Israel, to a rebellious nation that hath rebelled against me. They and their fathers have transgressed against me even unto this very day. Huh? Even to this very day. You got Jake out there that's that's continually sinning. Transgressing against your how about Shemi Yahweh Shai. No matter how many times no matter how many times they came across the prophets, I mean how many times they didn't they didn't get rebuked. They still to this very day, still living in their wickedness. Uh, this is verse 4. It says, For they are Im impudent children and stiff-hearted. I, I do send thee unto them, and thou shalt say unto them, Thus saith the Lord Yahweh. And I'm going to just, before I continue, I'm going to grab uh, the definition for impudent. It says, Marked by contemptuous or cocky, bonus or disregard of others. So, so these are basically cocky people. And stiff hearted. So you they don't feel like they can be told anything. You know, they, they think that they they think that they know something. Okay? But what does it say right here? In verse five, it says, And they, whether they will hear or whether they will forbear. So whether they either so either they either they whether they either hear the word or they don't. Whether they for it or against it, you know? Basically. For they are a rebellious house, yet shall yet shall slack it. Yet shall know that there hath been a prophet among them. Come on. So as as prophecies start, as prophecies continue to happen, and and these people, these scoffers start seeing it, then what? They're gonna know that oh they they were right. They're gonna know that a prophet was a money. So they know those men who owned them how was about was were right. They were correct. And then what? They're going to start looking for us. But it's going to come a time where when all hell start breaking loose, we're not going to be nowhere to be found. Because it's not going to be wise for us to be out there. Okay? It's not going to be wise for us to be out there when all hell is breaking loose. Trying to, trying to, trying to set up camp when you got all type of craziness going on. That's not wise for us. And, 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 and the Lord and the, and the Lord going to bring the famine anyway. Because it, this, the time is now to get this truth, to get this wisdom now to understand. The time is now. Seek the Lord while he may be found. That The time is now. The Lord is not about to continue to have his hand out with Jake. Because he was up to Jake. Jake will, Jake, will Jake will take his sweet time, which is Jake is still doing. And that's why it has to be a cutoff point. That's why it's until the elect is sealed. It's only a certain number. Object to get this. It's not for everybody. The the Lord not about to wait on you. We waiting on you. How about Shimmy? How was shy? If the Lord if the Lord had to wait on some of you, Jake, we would never get out of this place. Cause you, Jake, would never get right. Some of you, Jake, don't want this place to come to an end. Y'all don't want this place to end. Y'all want to continue in this place. That's why the Lord has to destroy this place. And you scoffers, unless you get right, you're going you gonna to be an example. A main example at that. And I'm going to grab this. This is uh, Ezekiel 12 and 22. It says, Son of man, what is that proverb that ye have in the land of Israel? Saying, the days are prolonged and every vision faileth. Tell them, therefore, thus saith the Lord, Yahweh. I will make this proverb to cease, and they shall no more use it as a proverb in Israel. But saying to them, the days are in hand, 
and the effect of every vision. Kind of because Jake like to say, they like to put, they like to put off what we saying. Oh yeah, it's not going to happen. That's going to happen later down the road. It's not going to happen in our time. We're not going to see that. So the Lord is going to cause that power to cease. It says that days are our hand. Verse 24, it says, for there shall be no more any so like, I'm going to read that again. Verse 24, for there shall be no more any vain vision nor flattering divination within the house of Israel. For I'm the Lord, I will speak, and the word that I shall speak shall come to pass. It shall be no more prolonged, for in your days a rebellious house will I say the word and will perform it, saith the Lord. Yahweh, Khan, for in your days. So all that trying to put it off saying it's going to happen 70, 80 years from now, you know, putting it off on your children, no. The Lord says it's going to happen in your days. So you're going to see these things that, that, we're, that we are here talking about. You're going to see these things firsthand happen. And if you don't get right, the things that we're talking about are going to happen. are going to happen to you. Um, this is verse 26. It says, again, the word of the Lord came to me saying, to the man, behold, they of the house of Israel say the vision that he, that he sees is for many days to come. And he prophesieth. Of the times that are far off, con, like I just said, they thinking that is they thinking that is not gonna happen in their lifetime. Uh, verse twenty eight. Therefore, saith to them that saith the Lord Yahweh, there there shall none of my words be prolonged any more, but the word which I have spoken shall be done, saith the Lord Yahweh. Con. So the things that we're speaking of is not just gonna be words; it's gonna actually start being action going on behind it. So, yeah, so this is another warning, you know, for, for you, Jake, you know, that's out here, that's actually watching GMS, you know, don't pay these scoffers no attention, okay? And for you scoffers that are out here watching us, you know, you stop, you better stop playing with us. You know, you better, you better seek repentance. You better ask the Lord to, to forgive you and to open your eyes and, and Lord willing that you can be, uh, Able to, to learn this wisdom and not to understand it other than that. Your end is not looking very good, Jake. So, uh, that's pretty much it. You know, Lord willing, this video was edifying. I'm going to close out by giving all praises to Yahweh, Ba'ashem, Yahweh Shai, Ba'ashem, Rakadash, Shalom.